Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to share with you guys what's in my Siri shortcuts. So the current shortcuts that I'm using on my device, I know I usually make videos on what's on my iPhone, but Siri shortcuts are so popular that a lot of people always ask, which ones am I using? So this video, for those that wanna know, is for you. So let's start with the random your mama jokes. And fair warning, these are not great your mama jokes, but hey, if you need one at the moment, this will come in handy. Also, a respring button I have available here. Sound Machine is also a very cool series shortcut. It offers uh, many, many sounds. Drum roll, please. You never know when you're gonna need a custom sound. I think it's really, really cool. There's some awesome sounds in there. And of course, links will be in the description for these shortcuts that are available on my website. So I'll link that below. Sleep mode. Now, when I go to bed, I like to listen to certain sounds. Right now I have it set to waterfalls. So this uh, Siri shortcut actually puts the volume at a perfect range where I want it. Low power mode gets enabled. Do not disturb gets enabled. And uh, you know, I have also a timer here for when to start and turn off in the days that I choose to have this enabled. So sleep mode helps you just fall asleep with a custom sound and it sets your device into a sleep mode for you. Quick Control Center, also a very, very useful Siri shortcuts because when you go to Control Center, you don't turn off these toggles. When you tap into Wi-Fi like this, it's temporarily disconnected. It's not really turned off though. Quick Control Center will actually turn off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and all these other options that you see here. Quick Control Center, a very useful one. Send delayed text. This is a very, very useful one. So if I need to send a text message at a particular day and time, and I don't want to forget, I'll schedule a text message, and this text message will go when it's scheduled to go to the particular contact, so I don't forget. Sometimes I have to send a text, and I tend to forget, and I end up never sending it, so send delay text, really, really handy. Translate text is also a very, very useful one for me in particular. If you didn't know, my native language is Spanish, and there's certain words in English that I still don't know, so I use this to translate, so very, very useful one. Calculate tip. As the name implies, if you're at a restaurant and you want to calculate a bill, this will do a percentage calculation for you for the tip. No folder label. All you have to do is tap, click OK, and click OK, and then you paste under the label you see here. If you go into edit mode, you can go ahead and remove. Let's go here to this one. I can go and remove the label by pasting what I just copied from that particular shortcut. And you see there, I have all these no labels underneath all these folders right here. So it's very useful when I like it a lot. It gives your device a clean look. Find gas nearby. This one's also very useful. If you need to find a gas station quickly, you don't have to go through Google Maps or anything like that. You just tap and boom, it shows you all the locations available nearby. You just tap one of the locations and it will take you directly to the gas station. Super low power mode. This is probably one of my favorite Siri shortcuts because it goes above and beyond low power mode. It really helps you get through that last or save, preserve that last 5% of battery life until you get to the next charging station. Pulled over by the police is also a very useful shortcut because this one will actually start taking pictures, sending your location, and actually recording if you choose to when you're getting pulled over by the police. So it will notify a contact of choice. When you go to set it up, you can select a contact. So maybe your mom, your dad, you get pulled over, you tap into the shortcut, it will send them a text message notifying them that you just got pulled over. It'll send them pictures again, your location, and whatever it is that you choose for this shortcut to send while you're getting pulled over. So very, very useful one. Water eject is also a very, very useful one. This one uses sound to remove water and sometimes even debris from your speakers with a custom sound. So if your speaker is muffed up, it sounds muffed up, maybe you got into the pool with your phone or you dropped it in water, right there, you hear that sound? That will actually push water out of the speaker and it will help the device sound a lot better if it's muffed up because of water. And last but not least, charge fast. Now this one prepares your device to charge a little faster with the standard cable that comes with your iPhone because it turns on airplane mode it turns off wi-fi bluetooth brightness gets turned down and low power mode is enabled you can set a timer as well now it's not going to charge as fast as it does with fast charging cables but it will charge a little faster than what it does normally with this uh, particular series shortcut with the standard cable that comes with your iphone so thank you so much for watching today's video let me know if you enjoyed it by clicking that like button i'll see you guys on the next one peace